Slain businessman Tob Cohen's widow Sarah Wairimo has vowed to fight in a case where she's facing a murder charge for the brutal killing of her husband. Wairimo, who was allowed by the court to attend Cohen's burial from prison remand, accused some of Cohen's friends and family of involvement in the killing. Hassan Mugambi attended the burial of the businessman and filed this report. The Dutch tycoon was finally buried at the Jewish Community Cemetery along Wangari Mathai Road in a Jewish ceremony attended by close family and friends. Okayed by the courts to be part of the burial process, Cohen's widow Sarah Wairimo, who is being held as the main suspect in her husband's murder, vowed to fight back. So even in this I'm going to fight. And even as we stand here, many of the ones who are responsible for Tob's death here in sheep's skin, believe you me, your days are also numbered. A defiant Wairimo blaming the family of her late husband. Their family members who are purporting and even pretending to be family members, but yours is another story. Wairimo was under the tight watch of five prison warders from Langata Women's Prison, where she is being held in remand. The private funeral attracted onlookers who positioned themselves along the cemetery fence to catch a glimpse of the ongoings. Among Cohen's friends present at the funeral were President Uhuru Kenyatta's uncle Ngengi Muigai, the President's cousin retired Captain Kungu Muigai, and former Getundu North Member of Parliament Patrick Muiruri. The funeral was initially slated to take place Monday but was pushed to Tuesday after they failed to raise the required number of priests required to conduct the final rites. Only eight priests instead of the required ten were available for burial for the Dutch tycoon Monday. According to the Jewish custom, the final rites of a man of Cohen's status are supposed to be conducted by ten priests and a rabbi. With the body lowered six feet under, now focus shifts to the courts where the prosecution and the defense will be seeking to answer the question who killed Cohen. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.